Hello Aquarius, my name is Agatha and this is the Astrology and Tarot reading for February 2019. It's a very general reading. If you like your own personal consultation, write to duniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. We're going to start with the Astrology reading Aquarius and on the 4th of February there's a new moon at 15 degrees of Aquarius. In your case, um, Aquarius, this New Moon is going to happen in your first house, so it's a brand new beginning for you. Uh, this could be, for instance, letting go of things that no longer serve you, letting go of toxic relationships, letting go of, I don't know, for instance, if you ate badly, you're going to uh, uh, st stop eating that way, okay? You're going to start eating in a nice, positive way. If you had some sort of uh, risky behavior, you're going to end that risky behavior. You're going to stop drinking, for instance, for some of you. So it's uh, maybe some sort of cleansing, you know, for some of you. It could be that. Uh, others, it's this brand new beginning uh, is connected with search, uh, researching something or studying something new. Okay? And you might even be a part of a, a brand new group, a brand new association, uh, that will help you uh, in this new uh, study endeavor. Um, if it's not that, it's it's not you learning something or researching something. It's you, it's you teaching something. And the best way to learn actually is by teaching. Okay, so it could be that as well. Some of you could be, you know, be in a new relationship or have new friends, uh, like I said. So it's something you know new, new for you, Aquarius. Then Aquarius. The full moon, the full moon that's going to happen on the 19th of February is going to be at zero degrees of Virgo. In your case, Aquarius, this is going to happen in your eighth house. Full moons are endings or culminations. It kind of depends from case to case. For some of you, it's, you know, the end of a um, intimate relationship. You know, you know, you maybe things were no longer working and you decided to call it quits with a person. You know, could even be a divorce, you know. If it's a divorce, you get the house. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but may, let's say that you're living with someone. Either that this person leaves or you leave. And either you have to find a new place or the other person has to find a new place. Or you have to, you know, uh, um, pay all the expenses expenses connected with the place in which you were living. Uh, if it's not that, let's say everything is fine with your partner. So maybe he or she, your partner get some more money or you get more money now it could be an elevation in terms of um salary maybe your spouse or partner uh, gets promoted earns more money and finally you have the money to buy your own place or to buy your second place or to end paying the house to the bank okay or it's you who gets more money so you get more money you you have some sort of bonus and finally you have enough money money either to buy your your home or to buy your second home like vacation home um, or to end the payments to the bank uh, so for some of you it could be literally ending the payments to the bank or getting an approval from a, from the bank to buy your own place others it could be you get an inheritance you know around the 19th of February finally you get an inheritance from someone close in your family it could be a, a female relative and it could be an aunt or something like that but not necessarily um could be a male yeah could be an uncle as well uh so someone in your family that leaves you something some sort of money okay and this could be quite unexpectedly even okay unexpectedly that that not i'm not telling that this person died unexpectedly it was maybe maybe for you uh, Aquarius, it was unexpected to you to get something because maybe you were not expecting to get any type of money from this person. Uh, but whatever it is, it's quite welcomed. You're you're happy about it, and you know it might help you in terms of your finances. If it's not that, it, this is something connected with tax, taxes. Now maybe you get something back in terms of your your taxes, or you end paying some sort of tax uh, related bill, uh, or you finishing up. With your credit card, maybe you have too many credit cards and you just, you know, end. You uh, get rid of one or more or you get a new credit card, you know, uh, maybe you needed it. Um, others, it could be something related to the occult, you know. 
uh, you are, I don't know, researching the occult, and you might even take be taking classes connected with that, uh, connected, I don't know, astrology, Reiki, Tarot, uh, metaphysics, anything connected with that, you know, uh, you're reading about it or you're finishing up reading about it and studying it studying it so uh, This could be read Aquarius in many different ways now. We're gonna go uh, to the tarot reading which is 528 So the uh, tarot reading Aquarius so for some of you the astrology reading might make more sense while for others the tarot reading might make more sense and this is beginning middle and end of the, of the month um, I'm sorry, even though this could be read as unified energy, and I'm using the Spellcaster Tarot. I don't know if you can see it, the Spellcaster Tarot. And just before we start the Tarot reading, I'm going to uh, tell you why I haven't been uploading to my YouTube channel. I have a full-time job, and it takes me a lot of time, and then when I get home, I just want to sleep. And on top of that, I have other obligations, so I really don't have the time to be uploading all that often to my YouTube channel. I'm very sorry for that. And plus... Whenever I do upload, my channel is getting less and less views. So, um, and I know that it's not only my channel, other tarot channels are also, you know, experiencing the same. Um, I think it's the old ones, the older ones are experiencing that because a lot of new uh, tarot related channels are appearing. So they get elevated by YouTube, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, it's fine. But it's a bit discouraging that I don't love, get the love back from YouTube if I'm like putting my effort in a one hour long title reading or whatever reading and I get little, very little views. So I apologize for this. Uh, right now I'm going to just, you know, focus on my monthlies. I will do my monthlies, okay? Uh, but, you know, when I do have time on when things change a bit on in, in YouTube, I'll try to upload more uh, other videos, okay? So let's start. Uh, Aquarius with the beginning of the month beginning of the month you have the four of cups this card in a different pet deck also showed up in the beginning of the month for Capricorn so if you have something in Capricorn check that out as well because this seems to be a very important message for you so for some of you you're just resting you know maybe you're taking time off maybe you're meditating maybe you need to rest because you're ill I really hope that's not the case so some of you really need to rest and maybe contemplate life and contemplate that which is really necessary in your life because maybe you got sick. Again, I, I really hope, Aquarius, that's not the case. Um, or just resting, you know, vacation or you're meditating. Uh, and I'm seeing this guy. He has the cancer symbol in his head. So uh, if it's you have, might have something in cancer. No, you might have Aquarius sun and you might have the moon in cancer or the sun, uh, rising in cancer or you might have... Uh, the sun in Cancer, and you might have the moon in Aquarius. You know, it's going to depend from case to case. So this could be you, and you're just contemplating life, and you, you're resting, and you're trying to figure out what now, like the rest of my life, how will the rest of my life be? You're just, oh, you're just trying to detress. Uh, I, I, you say, you're too stressed, and you're trying to calm yourself down. So in the middle of the month, you have... So if it's not you, it's someone in your midst in your environment who's behaving like this and you're merely the witness of that in the middle of the, the month you have the queen of wands which is a man or a woman because this is a very general reading from a, a fire sign um leo sagittarius uh, or aries and late 30s or after the age of 40 and this person is magnetic um sexy and she's a leader she's an he or she is a natural leader and very talented very creative, knows exactly what it, what he or she wants, and will go for it. It feels like, for some of you, Aquarius, it feels like you have something. You have you might have a combo of Leo Sagittarius or Aquarius. You might have a combo of Aquarius with fire signs and with Cancer. Okay, so let's say you have Sun and Aquarius and Moon and Cancer and rising sign in Leo. I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. So it feels like. In order to you be, be really connected with your own inner power, with your own creativity and with your own leadership abilities, you need to relax and you need to meditate deep in order to access, access to this deep part of yourself, this very deep creative part of yourself. If, it's not, if, it's, if this is not you, it's someone in your mists, in your environment that's, who's behaving like this and you're merely the witness of that, like how powerful this person is and how powerful this person becomes the more he or she meditates, okay? 
And then at the end of the month, you have, I said end of the month, but again, this could be uh, happening throughout the month or at any point of the month, you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a much more immature sort of energy. This could be, if it's a person, this could be someone in their 20s or 30s. If this is older than that, is a person who's kind of emotionally immature, this person might have something in uh, water, in a water sign, Cancer, it's just like this guy in the beginning of the month, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And uh, it's it's kind of weird because it, it, it feels like two people different in your life, okay? One person, and I'm going to read this, these two cards as one person, one person is really self-possessed, really powerful. And the more quiet they are, the more powerful they are. And the other person is new, really exciting, really enthusiastic, but kind of bipolar, like ups and downs emotionally. You cannot trust this person emotionally. If this is like a, a, a love reading, one person is gives you stability, okay, and you can count on him or her. The other person gives you excitement. If this is a, a, a new sort of love relationship that's coming your way. It's really exciting, Aquarius, but you, it will not last long. And um, this person is not stable while the other person is stable. Okay? Uh, if it's if, uh, if you are amongst trying to decide, if you are the Queen of Wands, you're trying to decide between, between these two people. One is stable and boring, but has a, a lot of emotional depth and meditates, tries to know himself or herself, while the other one is exciting, but it's not stable, you know. You can travel with him or her, but, you know, it's 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 fun. It's a useful type of energy. It's uh, romantic and sensitive and all of that, but it's no, it gives you no stability. And you're trying to decide between those both of these energies, for some of you, okay? It's not, not for all. Others, it's uh, there's an offer, offering coming your way. And you're really excited about this offering. Now, this could be connected with your work environment or any other type of thing which is not romantic, but there's some sort of offering. Or it could be doing a trip. You know, it could be even you're excited and really happy because you're traveling somewhere. Okay? Uh, it's interesting. It feels like you're going about your normal life. Uh, also, again, for some. And you're really within yourself really self-possessed, this tremendous amount of power, and then at the end of the month, there's some sort of opportunity that comes your way that might ask you to travel. You know, it's something wonderful and delightful, okay? So that's it, Aquarius. This is the reading that I have for you for uh, the month of February 20. 19. It's a very general reading. If you like your own personal consultation, please write to duniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.